Hey jazz heads. So it's been ages since we last chatted. While I'm making a cup of tea, I thought I would just catch up with you guys and tell you about some things that we've got going on. So a few weeks ago, I did a really nice little takedown of a solo by one of my favorite trumpet players, Alex Sipiagin, uh, from one of his albums. Uh, it's a lovely version of uh, a solo on Wayne Shorter's Iris, uh, which is a really cool tune. It's been going okay. That so, the solo so far has been going okay. There's a few tricky bits, which I'm still trying to get my fingers round. So we'll work on it this week before I go off and do my lessons. Got my university band tonight, last rehearsal before our gig next Monday. Um, so if you're around and want to come see us next Monday, uh, we're over at the University of Hertfordshire. Launching a new website this week as well. I've been working really hard, hence why I've not been able to vlog much, because all my spare hours have been going into creating this new website. That'd be pretty cool. Just gotta get the milk. Chilies are looking great too. So I've got my tea made. I've got my Iris solo. That I took down a couple of weeks ago now. And I'm gonna get to work on it. I'm just gonna practice the first 16 bars today. That's the bit that I'm struggling with at the moment. That little run finishes that phrase off. First 16 bars. Got time for a couple more runs before I have to go out. I'll have a go. Playability of this transcription is down to this phrase. So it's in R key in B flat. Uh, Alex is playing over in E flat seven, sharp eleven, sharp nine. Um, it's actually the last two bars of the form before it turns around. Uh, man, this lick—it just—it's all back valve. Man, it's it's hard. So it's like a kind of upside down chromatic thing to start with. Then it is a chromatic run. That bit's okay. Then he kind of stays in the E flat, in E flat. And then he anticipates a G minor. At the end of the bar. So it's kind of in, oh man, we've got, well, cause we've got the sharp nine in there as well. So it's still, it's kind of in two keys, but, oh man, this is a tricky phrase. like that but I think he probably plays it a little bit faster that's the key to this solo I've got to work on that phrase enough of that 
off to uni band now. Let's see if I get any better tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see the UH Big Band next Monday at 7.45, BL1. <laughs> so back at it with the transcription this afternoon. It's going all right so far. It's starting to come along. Hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be able to get the full version out to you. I also launched my new website today. So make sure you get on over there and check out all the new things I've got for you over there. Uh, you can check that out at www.duncanfraserjazz.com. Uh, it's got all my gigs on there, it's got about the arrangements and orchestrations that I work on. It's got where you can buy my music, it's got a link to my store with my big band album and my 10 Christmas duets for trumpet book. It's got lots on there about the vlog and new idea, it's got the newsletter. So yeah, you can subscribe straight away on the website to the newsletter and you'll get all the stuff straight to your inbox. Then yeah, subscribe up to that and just hear about all things jazz, really. Practice today has been abandoned. I thought I had water in my flugel. Couldn't work out where it was. 
but I reckon it might just be a load of gunk or something. It's really gargling. Shame. It sounded good. It sounded good so far. Just blew this out of my flugel. So it's turned out to be a pretty busy week, actually. Um, I've been shedding the, uh, the transcription when I can. So this afternoon, I'm going to have a go at getting it down for you. <laughs>